A lot of people seem to think that to work for the federal government, you require a certain type of experience. But there are many government jobs that require little to no experience. And almost anybody can do them. Let's talk about it. Now keep in mind, the jobs I will be discussing are on the lower end of the GS grade scale. I'm not talking about GS 14s or 15s. I'm focusing more probably on the GS 3, 4, 5, and 6. All of these job series can be found in the OPM Job Series Handbook, which is what you should be using when you're creating your resume. So the first job series we'll be focusing on is the 0300 series, which is largely administrative and analytical jobs. The one job series that stuck out to me in particular was the 0303, which is Miscellaneous Clerk and Assistant. This is a customer service representative position and the qualification for this position, you must have one year of experience, but this experience can be clerical, office, or some type of customer service work. The pay is between 31 and 35,000 a year. The average person watching this has some sort of retail or fast food experience. If you've been doing fast food, working at Walmart, Starbucks, for at least 12 months, then you can qualify for this job. Now I myself, when I was 15 and 16 years old, I put in 18 months at a Burger King, working on the Whopper board, the specialty board, and technically that would qualify me for one of these customer service jobs. It all comes down to how you frame your experience in the resume. The second one is 1702, Education and Training Technician. This is a child and youth program assistant position at the entry level. For this entry level position, no previous experience is required and the pay is between 27,000 and 36,000 a year. Now, I know this isn't for everyone, but if you like to work around kids, if you want to start a career in youth education, then this could be a position for you. And as the job announcement states, you do not need to have previous experience. They're not looking for three to five years of experience. You can leave high school or college and step right into a position like this. Now, as you can imagine, there are child youth service centers next to every military base. And there are military bases all over this country and all over the world. To give you some additional context, we have almost 800 military bases throughout the whole world. So this type of position will probably always be in demand. And if you do happen to have a couple of years of experience, that would help you stand out even more to get selected. The next job is the 0085 security guard. This is a security guard position and the qualifications are at least six months of experience in something. It doesn't have to be security, that could have been administrative tasks or clerical tasks or any kind of technical experience. And the pay is between 32,000 and 51,000 a year. Now, this type of job will probably have you walking around, maybe you're waving a flashlight around and you're writing down in your log, or you could be in a static position, like in a security guard shack, and you're just writing down your observations, making sure that all the activity is put down into your log. Now, if you have any military experience, I would say you are superiorly qualified for this position. From being in the military myself, we do an enormous amount of security work. Whether it's fire guard or watching somebody or watching something, there have been multiple hours where you're staring and you're writing down your observations. And that's what this type of job is looking for. And if you're set on being a security guard, I can't think of another place better than in the federal government. And that's because you're getting benefits. You're working towards your pension. You're getting some sort of health care. So... Other private companies are not gonna be able to compare unless you're thinking about a defense contracting company and you wanna go overseas, but that comes with its own risk and liabilities if you take a position like that. Next, we have a 7408, which is a food service working. And this is a food service worker position. And the qualifications for this job are able to follow instructions, carry heavy loads, and be reliable. And the pay is between 16 and $18 per hour. Now, just like we talked with the youth service facilities, Every military installation, every embassy, every government department agency has a dining facility. And in those dining facilities, we have cooks and then we have food servers. The food server job will continue to be in demand. Now, for this type of job, it does require some labor. It is repetitive, it is boring, but it can definitely make a lot of hungry people happy. And if you wanted to start in the government and you don't mind serving food, then this could be an option for you. Next is 3502, which is laborer. This is similar to the federal wage system. For this laborer position, the qualifications are you have to be able to lift 80 to 100 pounds and perform 
heavy physical labor, and the pay is between $16 and $19 an hour. And this position would be working for the Department of the Army at a golfing course. Now, as you can imagine, this requires lifting heavy objects. You would probably be working next to the shed or moving equipment from this point to that point. And I understand not everybody has the correct health condition in order to perform this. So if you fall into the elderly category, or if you fall into a category where you had an injury and you can't lift 80 pounds, or maybe you don't want to lift 80 pounds, then this position isn't for you. You could also easily be cutting grass or removing trees and organizing outdoor equipment. But there are some people that cannot stand working in an office. They feel like they have to always be active. They want to be outside. They want to be under the sun, rain or shine, and they want to work with their hands. And that's the type of job that this is. I actually found over 150 laborer positions just this morning by searching usajobs.gov. And a similar job to this in a military base would probably be at range control. Range control is usually always looking for workers. Another type of job position that you're always outdoors is working with the USPS in the postal service. But post office jobs are not listed in usajobs.gov you would have to go to usps.gov in order to find those type of opportunities. If you would like to learn more about working at the post office and some of the differences with the traditional federal government job, then check out this video next. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please click like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.